week 41 of my rebooted weight loss journey. This is just my update, keeping myself accountable for where I am on my journey and hopefully helping share my experiences with other people who are in a similar boat to me in terms of losing weight from an obese, morbidly obese point of view. My name is Mark and I'm here to help you live a better, healthier life. My goal is to help as many people as I can get into shape and improve their quality of life. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about practical and effective ways to improve your health and life, or if you're just interested in learning more about fitness and nutrition, start now by hitting the subscription button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos going forward. And now, without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so week 41, and last week was a bit of a challenge. Let's go with that, challenge. I, I was, for no particular reason, just having a meh week last week. This week has been much better. Um, in terms of my exercise, I've been walking the dogs a bit more, I've been doing a bit more exercise at home. Uh, I've had the gym sessions, although I missed a couple of them, purely down to the fact that the uh, trainer was in isolation because he'd come into contact with somebody who had COVID. So we missed a couple of sessions, but also had a couple of sessions. Um, it was one of those things where this week just felt much better. I didn't particularly do much more in terms of distance with the dogs, but I did a slightly better time. I also felt better about it. Last week, for some strange reason, it just didn't feel right. Uh, the pace was off. Um, this week wasn't last week. It was a good week. Uh, it was a week of uh, a bit more exercise. It was a week of fairly decent weather. Uh, it was a, a week of getting out of bed and not groaning that you had to take the dogs for a walk. I guess we all have a, uh, a week from time to time and last week was definitely my week for that. So much better. My diet was okay and uh, not particularly the best but certainly not the worst and was about right with my TD calculator in terms of calories although I did you know have a look a bit more than I probably sh wanted to over the week. Uh, I've been moving towards intermittent fasting so I was struggling with this new diet to eat first thing in the morning in terms of the protein and everything else. So I've gone to basically two meals a day. I'm having one at lunchtime and I'm having one about six, seven o'clock at night. So I'm effectively fasting from half seven through to about 12 o'clock uh, and then effectively eating for, for eight hours. So 16, eight ish thereabouts. And that seems to be suiting me much better. It was less of a struggle to eat the calories last week. I probably overcompensated a little bit on a couple of days, but not by much. So generally speaking, I'm really quite happy with that. Again, still lots with the, the, the chicken and the protein. I've upped the fat a little bit because uh, I find that that reduces my cravings a little bit. And I've kept my carbs relatively low because I do know that carbs have a big impact on me during my everyday. Um, I only had one sort of little cheat this this uh, week. We had some friends popping by to say hello for a, for a, a coffee this morning. So after dog walk and everything else uh, was some sausage butties, um, which was a little bit of a treat because it was bread and it was greasy, but that was absolutely lovely. And it was really nice to see that. And the weather was good enough to sit in the garden. So uh, all in all, I'm really quite happy with that. It was, generally speaking, a really good week, uh, particularly compared to last week's meh, um, which is never the best. Uh, but this week, much better, much more positive, felt much better about it. My times on the walks were a little bit better, the distance was a little bit further. Um, and I really do think part of that is, is doing the, the intermittent fasting, the, the two meals a day, that feels a lot better. It does mean that they're quite big meals, they're about a thousand calories per one but that just feels better than trying to shove something down your throat first thing in the morning when actually all I really wanted was a coffee walk the boys and get on with my day job um yeah so all in all I think this week was quite 
a good week uh, and a week that I'd have been happy with before but particularly after last week I'm very happy with the week that's just gone by. As always if you enjoy these stories and you enjoy following along with my journey please do smash that like button it really does help get these videos out there on YouTube it doesn't cost you anything and hopefully it will get to help some other people along the way too. So on to the week ahead. So the week ahead is one of those things where I've got a very busy work week this week. I've got some big um, projects that are happening over the weekend that are going to take lots of hours of preparation during the week and then a lot of hours over the weekend. My day job has, has peaks and troughs like most people's jobs do. Uh, some weeks I'm exceedingly busy, some weeks I am you know, really quiet. Well, not really quiet, but quiet enough. This week is one of those really busy weeks um, where there's probably going to be 60 or 70 hours of work this week, um, which is not a problem. It's just one of those things that while doing the shopping at the weekend, that was one of the things that had to be bared in mind in my head. I'm not going to have as much time to cook food. I'm not going to have um, as much willpower to stay away from things. So I needed to make sure that things I had in the house were quick and easy to have were tasty and quite often things that I could have at my desk so I can carry on working while having something something to eat because it is just going to be one of those weeks. So I went with a lot of pre-cooked um, you know chicken barbecue chicken and, and things like that that are tasty not too hard on the calories but a little bit tasty and things that you can just throw in the oven and have waiting for you uh, you know when you get a chance to have a break. So a lot of that kind of thing this week. Uh, I do need to be a bit mindful on the calories because obviously sauces have those calories in there. They're not quite as sneaky as some, but they are a little bit sneaky. Yeah, so they are a little bit sneaky uh, in there with barbecue sauces and things, which has quite a lot of sugar in it. So I need to be a bit mindful of that when I'm tracking those calories against how many I'm meant to be eating per week, which is about 2,100 calories thereabouts in order to lose a little bit of weight each week. I've also made sure that I've got some healthier snacks in the in the fridge in terms of carrot and hummus, which is a personal favorite of mine, uh, and some other relatively healthy snacks. So that if I am needing to have something uh, to keep myself focused and going with work, I can just grab something from the fridge and just get on with my, my, my work, which is something that I need to make sure I have because if I don't do that the temptation is to go for crisps and you know sweet popcorn and all of those other bad things. So quite happy that I prepared as much as I can this week. I also need to make sure that those meals that are in the house um, are done when I need them otherwise the temptation will be to go for takeaways and things. And I, I have probably four or five weeks like this in a year that are really busy and have lots of out of normal hours work going on. So this is just one of those. This is one of those weeks where I need to be as prepared as I can so that I can keep on with my lifestyle uh, choices as we're going through this. So the week ahead, I am going to be doing the dog walks. I am going to be doing my exercise. It might be a bit more rushed and having to fit it in where I can and I might end up doing a couple of shorter walks uh, with the dogs if I'm not up early enough if I have a particularly late night the night before particularly at the weekend. So it's about preparing, understanding what's coming up and preparing for it as best I can. So that's where we are this week. That is the plan for going forward and as always I look forward to seeing you in the next video.